We have 50 milliliters each of one molar hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. They have the same initial temperature and they are mixed in a calorimeter. The temperature increased by 6.90 degrees Celsius. That means delta T is plus 6.9. The mass of the final solution is 100 grams and here is our specific heat capacity. Find the enthalpy change of the system. Well, we've been working with the enthalpy change of the surroundings is mc delta t. But we want the system, so that's pretty simple. All we do is find the surroundings and then multiply that by a negative 1. So we put our numbers in, 100 grams. Then we have 4.184 joules per gram degrees Celsius and then we already said that the delta T is positive so that's a positive 6.90 degrees Celsius so I'll cancel the degree Celsius out there which I didn't write anyway because it ran out of room cancel out the grams we get something in joules we get positive 2890 joules I already made the significant figures there, three, I rounded up. Now be careful with these answers. See how the answers are in kilojoules? So this is really 2.89 kilojoules. You move the decimal over three to make it kilo there. Now that's the surroundings. We want the system. Take the negative of that and you get negative 2.89 kilojoules.